I remember hearing about this years ago. And, you know, I was going to come up with my own article telling this story. But I said, you know what? Let me go to read to you this Starcasm.net article titled LHHNY, that's Love and Hip Hop New York. Snoop from the Wire joins the season seven cast. Felicia Pearson bio and murder charge details from 1995. Now, of course, Snoop caught a body at the age of 14. Some chick was trying to like hit her with a baseball bat or whatever, and she shot the woman. But anyways, let me go in and read to you this article. There's a link to it on my blog along with different video clips and everything. You know, I posted some video clips from YouTube up on my blog. Let me go ahead and read to you what Starcasm.net had to say about it all. Now, the writer of the article is John. He's the author. Just John. No last name. Just John. (laughs) The article reads, Felicia Pearson, better known to most of her fans and the world at large as Snoop from The Wire, is the latest new face to join the Love and Hip Hop New York Season 7 cast. Felicia has a long list of acting credits to her name and is branching into the music business with her own record label. But it was two chance encounters they gave her life the shape it has today. The second was meeting actor Michael K. Williams who brought Snoop to the Wires producers and helped her get on the show. And the first was the second degree murder charge Felicia was convicted of when she was just 14 years old. On April 27th of 1995, Felicia got into an argument with 15 year old Okia Toomer and shot twice in self-defense. Okia died that night. Quote, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time, Felicia has said of what happened that day. Quote, you know, a hard head makes a soft behind. Somebody came after me and I shot them in self-defense. That was the worst day of my life. End quote. She was tried as an adult for the murder and sentenced to back to back eight year prison terms. Before being released, she served six and a half years in the Maryland Correctional Institution for Women in Jessup, Maryland. In a 2008 interview with Larry King, filmed with several inmates inside the MCI itself, Felicia went into more detail about the circumstances of the murder. Quote, you know, when you're young, you run towards fights. She explained, there was a fight going on. I ran all the way around the corner into something I had nothing to do with. Girl tried to hit me with a metal bat, so I ducked. When I was younger, I used to carry guns. So you shot her, King asks. Quote, yeah, I shot her, Felicia replied. And I was on the run. In a later interview with Vlad TV, Felicia described what prison was like for a 14 and a half year old girl, especially given that Baltimore City Jail, where she was first incarcerated, has no juvenile facilities. It was just hard, she says bluntly. Quote, like growing up too fast. Then, Felicia continued, quote, When I went and got my prison time in Jessup, man, that's a whole other ball game. You know, it's time to really put your grown woman shoes on and go and do your time. It's either you're going to cry about it or you're going to let people take advantage of you because you're a child. Or they're going to hold your own down. And I held my own down. I grew up fast, end quote. Felicia also talked about the realities of life in East Baltimore, where she grew up and the circumstances that led people to deal drugs for a living, something she says she started doing when just 11 years old. Felicia seemed to appreciate how lucky she is to have found a different path for herself as well as a chance to give back. Indeed, circumstance is an ongoing theme in interviews Felicia has given over the years. She revealed in a 2015 Complex interview that she knew Freddie Gray, the 25-year-old Baltimore man who died of unexplained spinal injuries while in police custody. Quote, we wasn't close, close friends or nothing like that, she said. Quote, I stand in the club, go over and see him and whatever. It's, what's up, yo? Ha ha ha, this, that, and the third. That's about it. When you see it on camera, in the vision of what's going on in that camera, that should hurt your heart. His legs dragging. End quote. And she did sound resigned, though not particularly surprised, when discussing how a lack of options in Baltimore proper can and does contribute to the criminal activity that The Wire was able to capture, to widespread critical acclaim. 
Baltimore City took a lot of schools away, a lot of recreational centers away. There's just nowhere to go. Baltimore is small. We don't got nowhere to go. Where are you pushing at? You're pushing them out in the streets and the corner. Everybody from the hood is not a criminal. They're just less fortunate. And they're trying to go to school and better their lives to make it to the NBA, the NFL, anything, a doctor or lawyer, anything. But if you take away all of the schools and recreational centers and you push them on the streets, then what are you going to get? Since her breakthrough on the wire, Felicia has acted in a handful of movies and TV shows, most notably in last year's Chirac and an episode of Blue Bloods earlier this year. In fact, whether colloquially or literally, Felicia claims Chirac director Spike Lee is a relative. And they showed a picture of her with Spike Lee. It's from her Instagram and she referred to him as her uncle. She said, me and my uncle at Shelton J. Lee thank you again love you for life with a hands up emoji fire emoji and a smiling face with sunglasses on emoji then the article goes on to say and in addition to her burgeoning musical interests it looks like we should expect the snoop sex toy line before too long for the record i'll do a new i'll do a separate video about her sex her sex toy line to show y'all the video that she posted on instagram Y'all can follow Felicia on Instagram here and on Twitter here, and they provided links in the article to her social media accounts. She hasn't used Twitter in a while, though. Of course, that may change once Love and Hip Hop New York Season 7 begins. And you can follow her exploits with Gorgeous Gangster Records when Love and Hip Hop airs Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern on VH1. Thank you very much to StarCasm.net and to Felicia Snoop Pearson for this article. Man... This is really something. Th that was a hell of an article. I mean, I felt that. I'm scared. Uh, anyways, uh, Snoop is way tougher than me. See, I'm pussy. See, Snoop is a real ninja. And I ain't trying to get my motherfucking ass whooped. Because I know I have some bitch in me. And Snoop has some lion in her. They should have called it Snoop Lion. But anyways. Now, the article was, of course, from 2016. Let me see. What was the exact date on that StarCasm.net article by John? It was November 16th, 2016. So there you go. Now, I'm going to read to you an old article from 2011. This is from the good people at people.com. The good people at people. Tim Nudd posted this article on August 10th of 2011 at 7.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the title of the article is Felicia Snoop Pearson from The Wire pleads guilty in heroin case. Now, I know this is like five months years ago, but I just got to tell y'all what happened was. Now, people, now this is from the People Crime part of the website. People writes, Felicia Snoop Pearson, whose real life experiences as a drug dealer in Baltimore led to a celebrated acting role as a fearsome assassin in HBO's The Wire, pleaded guilty this week to conspiracy to sell heroin or heron as my ninjas would call it anyways pearson that they didn't write it like that i just i just added that part pearson 31 who was arrested in march in a pre-dawn raid in baltimore was sentenced to seven years in prison with all of the time suspended except for the five months of house arrest she spent awaiting trial the baltimore sun reports pearson has repeatedly proclaimed her innocence but said this week that she took a plea deal to put the episode behind her quote i have things to do i have to move on with my life she said ironically the alleged heroin conspiracy was discovered after law enforcement recorded key players discussing the operation on a wiretap the sun reports get it like the wire <laughs> quote while i'm delighted to have you here i don't want to see you again end quote baltimore circuit judge lawrence p fletcher hill told the actress in court Outside the courthouse, Pearson says she had two movie contracts in the works and revealed a plan to follow the judge's advice. Quote, I'm moving to L.A., she said. I'm out here, man. End quote. There you go. Snoop's trying to move on and take over Hollywood. Why not? Man, shout out to Snoop getting those coins, doing what she does, acting and everything. 
don't change your life around. People trying to swing bats at her head and mess up her braids. I mean, it's not cool. Now, as far as the heroin distribution thing or whatever, I don't think she's really going to do that. I think she's an actress. And uh, they were just typecasting her because of the role they saw her play in The Wire. Rather, I think they stereotyped her. I think they mislabeled her, misjudged her. Because they were like, yeah, I think she's that character on The Wire. No, she's not. She's Felicia Snoop Pearson. She's going to be Felicia Pearson. Not even Snoop. Snoop is just a character that she portrayed very damn well. And I know if it looks like a Snoop and walks like a Snoop and acts like a Snoop, people think it is a Snoop, but she's not a Snoop, Jesus. But anyways, shout out to Felicia Pearson. Great actress. Played the hell out of that role of Snoop in The Wire. Boy, she had me convinced. I used to have nightmares that Snoop would pop up with the burner. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, boom. Popping shots and I was ducking and hiding and shit went and hit under a car like Tupac oh man like I oh man I had some nightmares that Snoop was gonna come get me I mean the name is that of a cute little cartoon dog Snoopy but boy was she vicious as hell in that TV show Jesus I used to be scared of Snoop I was a little boy watching The Wire and I was just like woo I hope this heaven don't come for me I can't run fast enough. I can't outrun her gun. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm just an asshole with a microphone. <sighs> Love and Hip Hop New York Season 7 airs on Mondays at 8 p.m. We're about to go into 2017. Snoop is about to take over the world, including the music industry and the <coughs> sex toy line industry. She's about to have y'all vibing your clits and vibing the hits up in the club and masturbating with waterproof sex toys in the tub yes jesus shout out to snoop anyways this is all my opinion what do i know just an asshole with a microphone jesus let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more follow me on twitter at meat magazine meat magazine 7 on google plus and meat magazine blog on instagram for the record your girl snoop has more thug in her than your favorite rapper you know I'm talking about people like Young Thug, a.k.a. Young Booty, running around with them goddamn skinny jeans on and shit. Who would you be more scared of? If a drag queen looking cockroach motherfucker like Young Thug was coming after you? Oh, my girl Snoop. Mm. Shit, I'll be ducking and hiding and shit. Oh, man, I would die through a window with it rolled up. I'll be up in somebody's car, Jesus, trying to hide from her. I'll be up in the trunk. They'll be like, how the fuck did you jump through the windshield, the front windshield, and end up in the trunk? I will be hiding like Poseidon. Mm. But anyways, Me Magazine on YouTube, MeatMagazine.blogspot.com, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, and Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. What do you guys think about these stories? Are you as frightened by Snoop as I am? I ain't fucking with Snoop. Hell to the no, Bobby. Snoop isn't going to disappear me. Snoop isn't going to whip my... I want you want to bet Snoop got a crazy hand game on her. Snoop was young M.A. before we heard of young M.A. Let me shut up before I get my ass whooped by two of them at the same time. Meat Magazine.